Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for January 14th, 2022. Well, doggone it, yesterday we had those bulls really trying to ignore inflation impacts, and by the midday sometime, we had those bears kind of come out of hibernation really start creating some damage in some of the charts. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. You know, we have an interesting day today because we have that uncertainty that was created yesterday with that little bit of bearish action in the market and yet we know we have that uncertainty of the silly season that's going to kick off today with big bank earnings so i think anything is possible and unfortunately it's one of those situations where you know no one knows what's actually going to happen in the market but what we should be doing is preparing for some pretty substantial price volatility having said that let's take a look at the price action of these charts and see if we can gain some information about what we might want to do with that as we move forward first off if we take a look at the dow boy the dow is the strongest index out there right now and we still have a little bit of damage here yesterday from that selling bearish engulfing candle and that possibility of a little follow-through here to the downside that would come back in and maybe retest this trend as support and notice that at this point in time we officially have a lower high on the market and we failed right at price resistance now if it weren't for earnings if it weren't for earnings season I would say the high probability is that we continue on down here today but I don't think I can say that with earnings coming around we have so much hype um, on these earnings reports. If they can beat analyst estimates, we certainly could reverse this and go back up. So if we do reverse, if we find reason for bullishness here today, as those earnings come out, just take a look at some of these resistance levels in the chart. We'll wanna respect those uh, if we push back up. If those bears find reason, to um, support the follow through to the downside watch this area right in here we bounced off of that area before and let's take a look if we look at our technicals you can see our 50-day moving average is not that far below and if those bears were to engage there really is that possibility we could test that 50-day and even slice through a bit so watch that carefully here in the chart now you'll notice that there is a little bit of price support there is a little bit of price support right through here that could help that 50-day moving average hold things up and if that does happen to fail we've got a little bit of price support right through there that could help hold us so watch that closely if the bears do happen to become engaged if we take a look at the spy SPY left behind a very concerning pattern here. Um, bearish engulfing pattern, that is a big, ugly black candle on the day and a lower high at price resistance in the chart. So we're gonna have to watch this one pretty closely as well. But once again, we have those earnings that we're gonna have to deal with and that makes anything possible. If we take a look right in here, we still have that upside trend here um, uh, moving it in the market that rejection up here with the lower high creates that possibility that if we follow through to the downside we may create that lower low and officially enter a downtrend in the spy and once again if it weren't for earnings i would say boy um, i would start getting short this market but I can't really say that with earnings because we know how much earnings can move the market around substantially. So let's take a look. If those bulls engage, if the bulls get feisty here and fight and bounce off of this area, let's watch these resistance levels in the chart as we push back up in the market. We'll watch those areas for that potential. The bears may line up there and defend. However, if those uh, bear uh, bulls can't engage and the bears come around 
watch these levels right in here. We have a little tiny bit of price support right in here, but let's keep in mind that is not a very substantial price support. And if those bears were to push on through there, we could easily attack this uptrend. And then we might start looking for other levels in the chart and notice that there really isn't a big support area in this chart until we come down into here. There would be a little teeny tiny support right through here in that price action. We'll want to watch that carefully if those bears um, do engage. And let's keep in mind that what we've got here on yesterday was a failure at the 50 day moving average. So bearish engulfing candle failing the 50 day moving average. That's not a happy place for the market um, at the moment. So we'll want to watch this pretty closely today. Will those bulls or bears? Who's going to win the day? Boy, um, earnings could tell the tell for us. So um, watch that carefully. Let's take a look at the uh, QQQ. Now that QQQ, this is probably our most damaged chart here um, in the market. You can see I've got lines um, all over this, but the purpose of that is to show you the different levels here in the chart that could be affecting um, this um, overall. So keep in mind, we have this little bit of a downtrend that we've got going right here, but now we've changed that trajectory pretty dramatically with a failure here. Um, on the NASDAQ. And I would have been talking about these um, resistance levels here in the chart to be watching them as we moved back up. And boy, they sure came into play yesterday as the impacts of inflation really brought those bears out. So let's take a look at what we had here. Um, not only did we um, have this ugly sell-off yesterday, but we broke support levels of this high over here and pushed right on through into um, that little level right there. And we're trying to follow through with that here this morning. So if those bears were to get engaged and really push down, our next level of price support is all the way down here. And that could, we know that could be a little bit painful if we push down into that area. Of course, if that were to fail, I've marked this next, next level in here where we might gain support. If those bulls can be engaged on these earnings reports, then keep in mind, we may bounce right off of this area right here. And that be, this area could then become price support in the chart. But we're always going to have to keep in mind that we're going to have these resistance levels above that are pretty substantial in that NASDAQ index. And notice here that this is a, an official failure at the 50 day moving average. So notice our 50 day moving average is flattening and starting to turn. Now, that doesn't mean we can't turn it right back around with a good bullish move in the market, but that should raise a little bit of caution um, in uh, the market and uh, raise that little bit of uncertainty that may make it tough for those bulls to respond all that swiftly and strongly um, back here in the QQQ. Now let's take a look at um, our Russell. Now our Russell is kind of in an interesting situation. And by the way, I should say that I am actually short if um, you look at the NASDAQ here, I've got a credit spread short here. I took half the profits yesterday at 45%. Um, I was expecting some kind of selling move. I wasn't expecting that kind of selling move. And on the IWM, also have this um, credit spread short on the Russell and um, continue to hold that. That's up 30% in a single day. So watching this chart here, um, we have a major problem here with the Russell, and, and that is the fact that we are um, obviously in a downtrend in this chart. And we have a year's worth of price congestion here in the chart. Now, what's going to be key here is if those bears engage is whether or not this, uh, this area of support will hold once again, because if that fails, Man, we have a big open space to move down in the Russell. Keep in mind that downtrend like this, we could move down pretty sharply if we fail in that area. So watch that carefully. Now, if those bulls can find inspiration and get inspired here, keep in mind as we rally back up, we've got all this price congestion in the chart to consider. And we've got our 50 now starting to cross down 
through our 200 day moving average, um, which they call the death cross. So watch that carefully. A little bit of problem showing up here and IWM is really indicating one of the weakest of the indexes out there. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX, I had mentioned was a little bit concerning to me that we could whip this um, just because we hadn't been able, as we continue to push back up, we hadn't been able to break that low here in the chart. So we pushed up pretty strongly, but I don't think that yesterday, um, one day does not make a trend. And of course, um, anything is possible here around earnings. But if we take a look at this, we did not break that downtrend in the chart. So I still, I'm gonna have to give this up uh, mostly to the bulls. We did break above that 20 handle, which is a big support resistance area in the chart, but we didn't break up there with such strength to make me think we're just gonna uh, necessarily just have to follow through to the upside. So watch that. Now, having said that, we also have started a little tiny uptrend possibility and in the chart so with that higher low so keep that in mind this has that possibility of going either direction it really all depends on how the markets respond to these earnings reports this morning and then let's take a look at our um, t21 22. now t21 22 the other day as i was saying i know no one likes to hear it but we continued we were pumping up we, um, we had pushed all the way up in here um, yesterday in T2122 and we were up in that bearish reversal zone and you know as many times as I show this it's kind of funny um, folks want to ignore it <laughs> we don't want to believe that this has any merit um, in the market but um, obviously it does so when we push up into these areas um, we need to be a little bit careful and cautious and actually start thinking pro taking profits on the long side and if you're thinking short that's the time to start putting together short positions so watch this here um, as we push down now yesterday's move was damaging in the index charts but not so damaging here in t21 22 notice that we didn't even quite make it down here to the mid-range of that chart so what does that mean well as i've been saying all morning when we hit earnings anything is possible and what that also shows us here in t21 22 is we're about 50 50 to either side um, depending on who engages if the bulls engage we have plenty of upside room to recover to the uh, to the upside if the bears engage we have about an equal amount of potential move to the downside so um, you know it's kind of a coin toss today and I really think that's how earnings act it's just kind of a coin toss in the market you're just gambling with a 50 50 chance on a coin toss around earnings events so watch that carefully and then if we take a look at our t2108 t2108 surprisingly held up pretty well yesterday so i'm still saying there's some hope in this um, internal in the market i don't like the fact that we continue to try and press up it with fewer and fewer stocks holding the market um, up but i will say it is encouraging that we've pushed up here and at least for a brief period of time we're holding some support in that t2108 so this is the percentage of stocks above the 40-day moving average so about 46 percent of the stocks we kind of held in there pretty well yesterday so watch that closely and then if we take a look at t2107 i'm going to say the same thing about t2107 although we didn't uh, we sold off hard yesterday Day, we didn't have a major um, increase in damage here on t2107 and there is that little bit of there's that glimmer of hope that we're going to hold this higher low in that chart so about 42 43 percent of the stocks above their 200 day moving average and if we could actually get enough bullish energy and push out above here then we would be in pretty good um, a pretty good place in the market however if those bears were to engage and we were to start breaking this back down um, that's that's where I kind of lose um, my enthusiasm that 
we may be turning around here. Let's take a look at our T2101. I thought this was interesting yesterday with all that battling going on between the bulls and bears. Um, our market breadth just dropped like a rock. So we're clear down here, scraping the bottom of the barrel here on market breadth. Now, what that means is, is as that bullish move, um, if those bulls engage and we can stay down in this range, we're winding this this um, wedging pattern up that we've been in for a couple of years uh, on the chart, we're good, we could wind it right up to the point and that would be bullish for the market in the short term. If those bears were to re-engage and we were to pump back above that, if we see a big surge in bearishness and we pump back above here, keep in mind we have a little bit of price resistance there so watch that closely if those bears were to re-engage in that um, absolute breadth really starts coming up that could be a problem for us here in the market it would be wise to note I think that when we take a look at um, other in um, other markets out there Asian markets were lower um, overnight and European markets are lower across the board this morning at least they were just a few moments ago and um, there is that concern about not only inflation but the real hawkish comments that be, have been coming from Fed members about um, possibly raising rates by March and possibly three or four rate increases this year so that's got the market a little bit um, nervous as well so we're seeing a little bit of bearishness here in the morning with those um, um, influences starting to uh, just raise some concern in the market let's take a look at our calendar today economic calendar we have a few things here today that could really move us around we know uh, retail sales is one of those big market movers so keep an eye on that what's interesting is the econo day calendar is looking for a zero number um, actually declining from last month so we'll want to watch that closely if it comes in flat uh, I don't know how the market might react to that but watch that carefully we um, also have import export prices and then we have that industrial production we we'll want to watch that and I think the most important number on this to really keep in mind is the capacity utilization number in industrial production this tells us how heavily used our factories are being used right now running about 77 percent of utilization and um, at least that's what the consensus is suggesting it would be it's going to tick up a little bit um, but notice that we're seeing month over month possibly decline and manufacturing output month over month possibly declining so I'm not sure 77 percent is going to be right and if we start seeing that move lower that's a little bit of a hint that our economy might be slowing um, so watch that closely and then we've got our business inventories and consumer sentiment this will be interesting this morning on consumer sentiment is this inflation starting after we get past the holidays is it going to start impacting consumer sentiment um, I think there's a possibility that it could and we're already at a very low reading on sentiment so watch that one pretty closely so with that we have um, on the earnings calendar also a big day of earnings reports now it it's not an, a huge number of earnings reports but we know these are um, reports that can move the market a lot take a look uh, BLK reporting today BlackRock and it looks like they are moving lower here this morning um, on their report so watch that closely we've got Citibank that will be reporting today looks like we got a little whipsaw going on here right now I'm not sure if they've actually reported just yet as I'm recording this but watch that carefully we're gonna hear from FRC today FRC this is already in a downtrend showing a little bit of a problem we've got JP Morgan JP Morgan reporting today and ouch looks like we've got an ugly move here from old JP Morgan here this morning so watch that carefully and last but not least WFC and WFC is trying to show some bullishness here this morning interesting so watch these charts very carefully and closely uh, this morning anything is possible when it comes to earnings let's take a look um, at 
some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be worthy, to be helpful, helpful, if you could please click those thumbs up buttons, leave those brief comments, and that helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much, everyone who does take the time to do that. I apologize. I apologize, I got busy yesterday. Um, I didn't get a chance to answer comments, but I will be back on the stick here this morning. Thank you so much for everyone who does do that. And then also, if, um, if you want to support the channel, you can support the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link, that link just below the title of the video. And thank you so much for everyone who does do that. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some stocks that I think are looking pretty darn good. And um, we're going to have to be a little bit careful here with what's going on this morning in the market. But take a look at Coca-Cola, defensive sector stocks continuing to hold up and look good. And notice that Coke popped yesterday trying to move on higher keep an eye on Coca-Cola. Take a look at Mondelez. Mondelez is also another very nice looking chart. You can see my price alert in there. Looks like we're getting a little pop and drop on this this morning in the pre-market, but watch that carefully as we come out here toward trend. Defensive sector stocks, we've been seeing a massive rotation into them and they've been performing very well. So I think it's worth taking a look at that. Um, as you guys know, I've mentioned Bed Bath & Beyond, or I mean, Best Buy here, several Several times um, watching this seeing if that has the potential to pop on out of here now keep in mind this is still well below its 50-day moving average we got the 50 below the 200 but we're holding in this pattern and that possibility that we could pop up in here to um, another level of price resistance in the chart I'm not saying this is going to be one of those runaway trades but certainly um, something to watch got to keep an eye on some of these metals um, FCX finally pulling back a little bit after this big pop out. Watch this as it moves back in here toward trend. Uh, copper could have a really good story. And remember, this is this is breakout territory. Um, copper may have a really good story with all of the production of all these EVs and all of the infrastructure improvements that we're going to need to support those EV vehicles. So um, copper is going to be in high demand. Um, over the next several um, years, I would say maybe even a decade as we try to build out that infrastructure for all the electric vehicles. And then let's take a look. Um, Merck. Merck still setting up in here. Nice little resting pattern. Didn't get involved in the selling yesterday. Continues to rest in here. Consolidate over. Good dividend payer. Again, a little bit of a safety play. Watch that. That's looking pretty good. If you're looking for some short trades, um, I noticed Home Depot yesterday failing right in here, and I actually laid out a bear call credit spread on here that would work pretty darn good um, at this point. And let's notice that this is a failure at the 50 day moving average. So we have this double top high and this ugly pattern here under that 50 day and that possibility that Home Depot could turn into a short. And there's quite a few of these short trades starting to show up in the market. A little bit of concerns here on some of these stocks that have been high flyers for so long. So watch for those closely. There may be um, quite a few of those coming our way in the next um, few days. So watch carefully. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. And more importantly, I want to remind everyone that we have a three-day weekend. My goodness, three-day weekend. Monday, the market is closed for Martin Luther King. So we all have three days. This is a three-day weekend coming ahead. So be safe, be careful, have an awesome, awesome three-day weekend. We'll see you right back here, bright and early Tuesday morning.